has taken damage along 300 feet of the starboard side. Oh, my God. You have broken with the cardinal rules of safety. Never turn your broadside to danger. Had we struck the bird head on, only one compartment would have been flooded. I thought I could avoid hitting the bird altogether, sir. Not only did you stop your engines, you reversed them. She would have turned much more quickly, the greater her forward motion. Yes, but the watertight doors were closed immediately after impact. The, the compartments behind them were sealed. Watertight bulkheads go up only to E-deck. The weight of the water in the bow will pull her down by the head. The ship comes sick. The ship is about to hours. The lifeboats. We have lifeboats. We must launch them at once. Get everyone off the ship. That won't be entirely possible. Of course it's possible. It must begin immediately. You may recall that we have precisely the number of lifeboats required by the British Board of Trade. Seats for 1,200 people. There's over 2,000 people aboard this ship. 2,230 souls. I cannot allow this. Excuse me. It was under your directive that we were traveling through an ice field at the arrogant speed of 21 knots. And the master of this vessel and I have been too complacent. Captain Smith, uh, general distress over the wireless should be sent immediately. Mr. Murdoch. Yes, sir. See that the passengers are roused. Mr. Lightoller. Organize the crew to uncover the boats. It would be best, sir, if we didn't give any indication to the crew or the passengers as to the seriousness of the situation. Yes, quite so. We don't want to start a panic. Yes. Right, sir.